It seemed like the year, for some reason, this year, to sort of come out of the closet about something. <laughs> Dress for it. As a herpetologist, a lot of my friends are uh, scientists. You study herpes? <laughs> it's not the fear of herpes, no. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. But a lot of my scientist friends would be incredibly skeptical about what you're about to see. Uh, and I'm okay with that. In fact, it's, it's funny too, a lot of uh, magician friends are the same way. Interesting thing about magicians, most of them do not believe in magic. Now, I don't mean that there's no sense of the wonder, because of course they do. That's why they're good at what they do. The, the effect is an illusion, but the wonder is real. But real magic is science that we don't know yet. Usually, if, usually affected by science we don't yet know we've got wrong. Now, a couple of famous magicians once did a, uh, an episode of a, uh, a show. Um, well, the initials of the show are BS. <laughs> and they did an entire episode about a thing called Reiki. And Reiki is basically the art of channeling ki. Ki is another word for prana, another word for, uh, well, universal life force, right? It's the art of channeling it through your head and out of your hands to where you don't deplete your own energy. All right? Now, there's been times when working with animals. <laughs> this is, of course, Capone. <laughs> now, it helps if he's a little squirmy to show you this. Watch. <laughs> Three, two, one. Animals respond instantly to organic energy. And in fact, there was once a trip in uh, Mexico, one of those little swim the stingrays things, right? And there was a little male that everybody could touch and hold and, and, uh, and get pictures with, but nobody wanted to play with the female because she was this wide and she was thrashing all over the place. Even the guys couldn't settle her down. I was like, here. And she instantly went to sleep. Stayed that way 15 minutes when I let go, she glided off like she was in a trance. So I want to demonstrate something, and for this I'll need a volunteer. <laughs> Preferably I need somebody who's actively, at the moment, in pain. Okay, I still got two hands up. All right, okay, yours is the last one up. Where does it hurt? Really? Come on up. Remember your name for me. Bridget. Bridget. If you would please, on your back with your head at this end. Everything in the universe is either in balance or seeking balance. You all know about left brain and right brain, right? All right. Right side is intuitive, creative, non-linear, spatial. Left side is reasonable, rational, linear, mathematical. What I'm checking real quick is which leg is short. Happens to be the left leg. Doesn't surprise me a bit since you're here. <laughs> Are you left-handed? No. No. So you're right-handed, you expect your right arm to be stronger than your left? Yes. Check this out. Now this, obviously because it's kinesiology, I can't really prove to you that it's, it's, that it's fair. I don't care. <laughs> Push against me. See, there's an immediate response on the right side of her brain. Watch what happens on this side. This is supposed to be the strong arm, right? Resist. You feel the difference? Yeah. Okay, try, uh, give, me, give me all you got here. That's immediate. This is mush. Now take a deep breath and hold it. The brain, well, I'll show you. <laughs> all that is is a foot movement you can't do yourself. You can let the air out. Your brain goes, that doesn't make any sense. And temporarily you switch dominant hemispheres, okay? This is the weak arm, right? Push. And this is the strong arm, right? I'll use my pinky. <laughs> Now what I just did is really just a trick because you'll go back to both sides, you know, it, you'll go back to left hemisphere, actually it's right hemisphere, your brain is dominant. You go back to right where you were in about three minutes. What I'm about to do will last more like three days. 
Relax, watch yourself breathe. Now wait a minute, where do you say it hurts? And on a one to 10, 10 is please shoot me, how bad does it hurt? 4.5. 4.5, that's very specific, thank you. <laughs> Relax, watch yourself breathe. Discuss amongst yourselves. So I take a moment. Almost there. Her left leg was about a half inch short, maybe a quarter. It's, they're now exactly equal. And when we do this again, push. Now you notice the longer I push, the stronger you get. And you're four and a half? Zero. Zero? <laughs> Since we've come this far, I want to try one more thing. Would you sit up for me? Yeah. I have no idea how this is going to work, and we're going to find out. Give me your left hand. By the way, you know why you do the receiving end? With the, uh, with the left hand, you ever seen the Buddha doing this? This is in, this is out, all right? Let's see. Move your hand a little in front of me because I got a black outfit. Maybe they can see it. First of all, tell me when you start to feel this. I can feel it. Feel it already? Now I want all of you to try letting your eyes go a little fuzzy and watch the beam between the stones. Looks like the heat wave off a highway. Tell me when you see it, guys. I don't hear a single murmur. Nobody sees it? Well, I told you it was an experiment. Can't make it fly out of your hand yet, but I can make it feel like it's trying. All we are is patterns of organic energy. That's really what we are. We're we are a coalesced. We appear to be mat matter because of the uh, frequencies at which we vibrate. That's really what this is about. And everything in nature is either in balance or seeking balance. What just happened will actually last about three or four days. And the thing is, the brain works in a priority way, and the highest priority is survival. When you're in a left or right state, it's really about a survival response. If a, if a car is about to mow you down, uh, you're supposed, the left side of your brain is supposed to take over, jump you this way or that way. You don't need the right side chiming in with red car, blue sky, right? <laughs> but when the car goes by and you're alive, it's supposed to go back to both sides working together. Everybody's bo burned with both sides working together. But at some point in your childhood, something stresses you out enough to lateralize you into one side or the other, and the low-level ambient stress never goes low enough for you to come back out of it. We deal with more stress in a year than our parents did in 10 more than their parents did in a lifetime. But all you have to do is reboot the system, which is what just happened. In fact, stand up. You notice you're exactly standing on both feet? The whole business is standing on one leg or the other because one was a little longer. You can do it, but now you have to lean. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Gravity's hitting both sides of your body equally, probably for the first time since you were about six. Ladies and gentlemen, Bridget. <laughs> 